Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for tuning in again. This is Bagged and Boarded with your boy, Polly, the only internet comic book show where you can see a guy on a budget, teach you about comics, show you what I got, and maybe, you know, give you a new opinion about certain things or just here for your pure and utter entertainment. So today is May 31st, Wednesday, New Comic Book Day, and to anyone who's not familiar with the comic book schedule, every Wednesday across the country, local comic book stores alike get new comic books, and today was no different. Today, I'm going to show you guys some of the pickups that I got, and, you know, just kind of talk about, you know, some of the things I got and stuff like that. So, without further further ado, we're going to get right into it. The first thing I picked up today was Secret Empire number 3. And like I said in the last video, Secret Empire is currently one of the bigger uh, events that's happening in the Marvel Universe right now. At least the comic book universe. And uh, I'm not going to get too far into it. But basically what the Secret Empire is, is that all throughout Civil War 2, and again, I'm, I'll go into bigger detail about some of these bigger events, kind of to bring you up to speed. But so far in Secret Empire, Captain America Steve Rogers currently has been, had his mind completely wiped clean of what he has accomplished as Captain America as an Avenger. And now he has become a victim of the Cosmic Cube that has changed his memory, and now he believes he is a commander of Hydra. And what he has done is that he has completely pushed away all of Marvel's biggest heroes, like Captain Marvel, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and some of them are trapped outside of the Earth's protective shield that holds off intergalactic threats. And they also, some of them are trapped in New York City in a big bubble. So currently number three came out today, and I gotta tell you, the story is heating up, and it's very good. Uh, I believe this is only going to be a six-issue run, or I'm not exactly sure, but nonetheless, they've been cranking them out every other week. I would definitely recommend picking these up. Uh, the price range on these can go from $3.99 all the way up to $6.99, maybe even $5.99, it depends. Today's issue was actually, I believe, only $3.99 today, and I am correct. So it was a good pickup, and I very much love the cover, uh, as most of you know, my favorite uh, Marvel uh, superhero is Carol Danvers Captain Marvel so it was a cool cover I decided to opt out of getting any variants today um, but yeah that's number three the next comic book I picked up today was Old Man Logan number 24 Old Man Logan uh, this storyline is actually an extension of Old Man Logan uh, the bigger story where Logan fights off the Hulk clan and things like that, a post-apocalyptic world, and this is definitely a recommendation for me. Go and read this comic book. It is absolutely amazing. Anyone who enjoys X-Men or Wolverine or Logan in general, this is absolutely amazing. It's 24 issues deep. You will have no trouble finding trades to get up to speed on them. Go read this comic. So, got number 24 today, and one of my favorite pickups today was Power Rangers 2017 Annual Number 1. And my goodness, this is a cool cover. Uh, as uh, I don't think I've made this very clear in uh, the last video, I am a huge fan of Power Rangers, primarily the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And Boom Studios has been making comic books based on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And today they released their 2017 annual book. And I love this cover. This is the uh, normal primary cover that you're going to find in bulk at most comic book stores. And I also decided to pick up the variant cover that my local comic book store collector's corner here in Maryland uh, in Parkville. And I got to tell you, this thing is dope as heck. It is awesome. Uh, I, I love the pink and the green ranger. Those are two of my favorites. Obviously, I think that's pretty much for everyone. And uh, I just love how simple it is and just how freaking dope it looks. So that was another pickup. Um, and I got to tell you, one thing that I want to you know talk about is a lot of people, when they think about comic books, they will often think that you know it boils down to DC and Marvel, when that's absolutely not true. There are a lot of other studios out there that publish very good content very good books such as Boom Studios and Boom Studios uh, primarily the only thing I read from them is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that they have but they will also be releasing another 
series in July, and this is going to be Go Go Power Rangers, an all-new ongoing series of the Power Rangers, and I gotta tell you, I'm very excited for this, I cannot get enough Power Rangers, I'm addicted, I've loved them since I was a child, and I can't wait to see them keep this going, along with their current series that there are, I believe, about 16 or 17 issues deep on. So that was another pickup I had today. And the local comic book store I go to, Collector's Corner, if you spend uh, more than $25 uh, at their store on a Wednesday, they allow you to get a free $1 comic uh, for every $10 you spend. So today I was able to pick up three, and I was able to pick up uh, Fantastic Force number one uh, by Marvel Comics. I'm not very familiar with Fantastic Force, but I'm a sucker for number ones, not sure if it's worth anything or not, but I just like reading number ones because I like to be, st if I do want to get into a new series or start collecting a new series, I like to start at the beginning and see if I enjoy it, and if I do, I'll try to hunt for the other ones and continue to read it, and I saw number one, and I like to jump on that opportunity. And another comic book that I picked up in the dollar bin was Slapstick. Now, Slapstick, I can tell you that I honestly know nothing about. Uh, it is a new series that Marvel came out with. Um, a new character, things like that. He's This is relatively recent. I believe he was introduced uh, late in 2016. But uh, I kind of passed on this. I, you know, It didn't look like something I really wanted. But I was able to get this one for free today. So I figured it's a number one. It's a character I've been rather intrigued by. So we'll see how it goes, see how it is. I'll uh, kind of let you know how that is in the next video. I haven't been able to... haven't had a chance to read any of these just yet. Except for Secret Empire number three. Um, but... Thought I'd jump on that. And finally, I was able to pick up a package in uh, the original packaging. Punisher, uh, 1993 number 6, 64-page annual. And this is another thing you'll uh, see in a lot of my vid vi uh, videos, is that I am a sucker for annuals. I love the big 64-page annual books. Uh, they're really cool, as you can see. <laughs> I'm a big sucker for annuals. Uh, and the Punisher is really awesome. I've just recently started watching the Daredevil series on Netflix, and uh, I'm very excited to see the Punisher in that, and it's a very good series, and I've actually been growing a, uh, a big, bigger love for, you know, characters like Luke Cage, uh, Iron Fist, the Punisher, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, you know, characters that are very important to the Marvel Universe, I just never really paid that much attention to them, and the Punisher's one of them, he's just a really cool character in general, he kind of plays by his own rules, he's similar to Deadpool, he doesn't really, he's not really your typical Marvel hero where he doesn't kill, but where, you know, most Marvel heroes don't actually kill, but the Punisher does, and he's a really, he is quite a badass, and I love him very much. And uh, we'll see how this one is. I may keep this one in the packaging. It actually still has the original trading card that came with this one. So I think that's actually really neat. And we'll see what I decide to do with this one. But just wanted to show you one of my pickups. So overall, those are my pickups for today. And another thing I wanted to show you guys today was basically uh, I was introducing, you know, some of your... Um, I was introducing Boom Studios. I wanted to give you guys a suggestion. I think one of the new things I'm going to start with some of my videos is I'm going to try and give you guys a suggestion at the end of every video. Something you guys can go out and try and read every, you know, go out and try and read, venture out of your normal uh, comfort zone. And I think I got a good one for you guys now. And in my long box, I have one of my favorite series. And this is going to be... The Boom Studios Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger comic. Now, this is obviously a variant cover made by Babs Tar. She's one of my favorite comic book uh, illustrators out there right now. She did a lot for Batgirl. And she also does another comic book called Motor Crush right now. And that is also a very uh, good comic book. I suggest that one as well, Motor Crush. And all of these Power Ranger comics by Boom. So Pink Ranger was a six run, a six issue run by Boom Studios. Basically, just an individual story for Kimberly Hart, Pink Ranger, Pink Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and you can pick up the trade pretty much anywhere. And you could also probably don't not have any issues finding the individual issues number one through six. And overall, it's a great story. You'll find a lot of cool covers. This one by Babs Tar, I absolutely love. Uh, call me a sucker for glitter, but I just thought that this was an absolutely amazing comic book. I actually did a college project based on this comic book itself, and just kind of diving in a little bit more, as you can see, from the start of this uh, divider here to this divider, all of these are all Pink Ranger comics, and you can see this was only a six-issue run, and yet I have 
all of these comic books based off of it because they made so many great covers based off of this. I'll try and find one of my other favorites of it because, oh my gracious, uh, it was awesome. You know, so here's another one that I absolutely enjoy a lot of. Oh my gracious, and I talk about taking care of my comics. <laughs> this one as well. I believe this one's number five, number four, one of the middle ones, maybe even number six. But again, Pink Ranger, she is awesome. Really cool character. She got her own run of comics. I definitely suggest this uh, by Boom Studios. I try and show you a regular cover so you can kind of see what it looks like, what you'll probably end up seeing on the shelf when you go to look for it. And here you go. Here is number one of six by Boom Studios, and here is what number one looks like. This is probably what you'll see if you, when you go to the comic book store and ask, hey, do you guys have Pink Ranger Boom Studios comic? This is the base number one cover that most of the retailers got the majority of. Uh, Boom Studios comics are about $3.99 each. Um, of course, if you have um, an annual or a bigger size comic, you'll probably see them go up to about $7.99. And while we're looking at this, you'll notice that the... Um, it says a name right there. That's uh, Montes. And just a quick little fun fact about him. I actually was able to meet him at the Baltimore Comic Con. And he was a very nice guy. He does a lot of great illustrations for the covers of these Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And while we're on that subject, I guess I may as well uh, show off a few more things. He did a lot of different illustrations on some other comics that I enjoy of the regular run of uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I actually got his signature. He's a really nice guy. He was able to sign many of my comics like this. I'm actually going to end up doing a specific Power Rangers video at some point, showing off all of my Power Rangers garb and and all that stuff so but just to give you a, a little bit of an overview going uh, goni montes i'm sorry if i'm butchering your name um but he uh has done a lot of great comics i collect i try to collect as many by him as possible because he does an absolutely amazing job but anyway my suggestion for this week is mighty Morphin power rangers pink ranger number one through six you can get them all today they're all released you can get yourself a trade or you can try to hunt for some of the variants or the regular numbers one through six uh single issues and i think that's about it gonna cut this video a little shorter than uh uh, probably most of my other videos are going to be, but overall, um, that is my pickups for May 31st, 2017, New Comic Book Wednesday, and my suggestion for the week, probably gonna go with two, both Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and also Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger, uh, individual run, and you can pick them up at your local comic book store, support your local comic book store, go out and read some comics, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much, and have a great day, everybody.